our dear viewers and welcome to our show Diet Myths. So today we're going to be talking to you about what you should be doing post-workout. Now that's a great start, but it's very important to consider what you're going to eat before and after your workout to not counter the effects of that workout. So I know many people that come to us here and say, you know what, we're exercising, we're working out, why aren't we losing weight? Now what the great thing about workout is, is it will help tone your body and it will help you with your cardiovascular health and maybe your flexibility. But workouts won't necessarily help you lose weight if you're not careful of what you are eating. So it's very important to consider what type of workout we're doing. If you are working out for around one hour and you're doing some cardio form of exercise, research has shown that a post-workout snack is not really necessary. So you don't really have to go have one to replenish your muscles. As for people that work out for over 60 minutes or an hour, so something around an hour and a half and it's a very strenuous workout, then yes, you need to replenish your muscles and your energy right away and that way a post-workout snack would actually be necessary. So today we're going to be talking about some of the mistakes we do when we're choosing a post-workout snack or meal where we counter the effect of our workout and we actually tend to not give our body the energy it requires. Now keep in mind that you know everybody is different and not everybody is the same. So the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is the protein shakes and the smoothies. Now I'm sure many of us are used to the habit of leaving the gym and you know either picking up a smoothie or making your own. With smoothies, if you're not careful, you could actually be packing in a lot of calories and a lot of excess protein. So it's very important to be very wary of the type of smoothie you're choosing and to actually know the ingredients that are going into your smoothie or your protein shake. Now there are definitely many more tips that I have to give you, so please stay tuned. Welcome back our dear viewers. Now I'm sure many of you think yogurt is an excellent snack and it's a very easy snack to take post-workout. Now I couldn't agree more, yogurt is an excellent snack but you need to be careful about which yogurt you're choosing. So many of us that tend to have fruit flavored yogurts actually aren't having the best snack possible because those fruit flavored yogurts could be packing a lot of calories and some of them have as much sugar as a donut. So you're actually not getting many health benefits. Now the great thing about yogurt and what makes it an excellent snack is it contains a decent amount of carbs and protein. And now when you pair it with a fruit, you get that ideal ratio of three to one for a post-workout meal. Now with a post-workout meal or snack, we're always thinking of a three to one ratio of carbs to protein. So a great amount would be 30 grams of carbs to 10 grams of protein. And what you can do is get yogurt or maybe Greek yogurt because it's actually higher in protein. And what you can do is add fresh fruit to it where you control the amount of sugar and the amount of carbs in that fruit. This way you get a consistent and adhesive meal without the added sugars that we don't really need. Another very common mistake that many people go into when they're going into their post-workout meal is that they have a high-fat meal. Now, like we said, if you're working out for over an hour and a half, you probably want to replenish the muscles right away. And the thing is with adding fats, regardless of whether they're healthy fats or not, is you slow down the absorption of carbs and proteins in the meal you're having. Therefore, your muscles are not getting the energy it wants right away. So my suggestion is wait a good two to three hours after that snack to have a meal that has fat in it, preferably healthy fats like olive oil or nuts um, or even avocados. And this way you don't come in the way of the absorption of the carbs and proteins and you replenish your muscles instead of breaking them down. Please stay tuned. I have a couple more tips to give you and we'll be right back. Welcome 
welcome back our dear viewers. Now I know many of us after the gym are in a hurry and probably maybe have an errand or two to do so we're not going to be going home to prepare a snack or a meal. And probably the first thing that comes to mind is an energy bar or protein bar. Now these could be a great snack to have but you really need to be careful of which one you're choosing. Make sure whatever bar you have have very limited amount of sugars. So nothing over five or 10 grams. And you want the carbs or the sugars that come from that bar to be from fiber in bulk. So check how much are from fiber. And if most of them are from fiber, then you're actually fine. Definitely try to limit the calorie amount of the bar to nothing more than 200 calories Because like we said, we don't want to outdo the effects of the exercise that we did Especially if we are trying to lose weight And make sure that bar has a decent amount of protein. Anywhere between seven to 10 grams is actually an excellent source and it will give you what you need. Keep in mind if you can fulfill that three to one ratio of carbs to protein, then that is excellent. Now another thing we do once we're done with working out is we think we can have whatever we want. We worked out, we burned a lot of calories and energy, so now it's time to go and eat whatever we want. And that's not really correct. You can actually outdo the effects of your exercise. And some people actually tend to gain weight because they overeat thinking I burned calories. Try to stay away from the refined carbs. So anything that's white, high in sugar, try to stay away from it. Focus on the whole grains that are loaded with fibers that will give you all the energy you need. Always remember that whole grains actually contain protein in them. So you are kind of getting two essential nutrients in one. If you're gonna choose to have a salad, definitely make sure you add some form of lean protein like a fish or grilled chicken on it to get a whole meal. And of course, the most important thing you can do is hydrate. So make sure you drink lots of water before your workout and lots of water after you're working out so you don't feel tired and you replenish all the fluids that you're losing when you're sweating in the gym. We really hope these tips are beneficial to you. We really do encourage everyone to try to get an hour of exercise five times a week or at least 30 minutes of exercise every single day. We hope you enjoyed today's episode and we'll see you all next time.